How's everybody? Welcome back to the fun house where you never know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm kind of gussied up and a little bit over the top for some people. But that's because on Monday I had my 64th birthday. And let's be real, that's a pretty big one. Not as big as 65, but it'll do. Um, if you didn't catch my last updates, I have finished school. Finished. And as soon as I pay off the 750 that I owe directly to the school, they will confer my degree and release the transcripts and all that stuff. See, I, when you run out of loan, you have a little left over for the last couple of classes that you got to cough up directly to the school. That's how this works. <laughs> anyway, if I get it paid off in time, then come December 10th, there I will be in the virtual commencement ceremony on YouTube. And I'll try to remember to put that information up if it's going to be worth tuning in. If I'm not there, yeah, I probably won't bother. Because I've got to do all the stuff before they let me do the commencement ceremony because I won't have any paperwork to, for them to be handing over. Anyway, it's like I've gotten things like I got my um, got my robe and my cap and the stole and all that stuff because they said, hey, it takes weeks sometimes to get this, many, many weeks. And, and I said, well, but I want it on time. So I ordered it as soon as I had a chance. And it came within about two weeks, so I've had it for quite a while. I also got some other interesting little bits. I've gotten my um, honor cords from the International English Honor Society Sigma Tau Delta and I got this really pretty red ribbon and on the pretty red ribbon is the medallion from Sigma Tau Delta. Kind of a nifty little thing. So, yeah, I've got all kinds of nifty stuff to wear, and I've got a really nice, not nearly as fancy as some of them, because I couldn't afford the really fancy ones, but I've got a really nice um, frame with the school logo and all that stuff to hang up on the wall right next to where I'm going to be hanging my certificate from Sigma Tau Delta and yeah we're getting there anyway at 64 I figured I would reaffirm something that I started with when I first started doing this channel back in 2018 okay it hasn't been forever like some people but that's when I started, August of 2018. So I just passed that anniversary just before my birthday. Birthdays are fun. Um, and that is, that, that concept is that it doesn't matter how old you get. 
If something makes you happy, go for it. If you want to play with makeup, have a party. I mean, I've got dark blue and silver and gold and blue highlight and black lipstick and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. It's lovely. I'm just running my tongue around because I keep feeling like I'm going to open my mouth and find a big blob of black lipstick on the teeth, which are already not pretty. Um, but, you know, I've written a book. It's been published. Actually, it's two books because one of them is the collection of short stories and poems. Both of these books have been published. The first one was probably not the greatest book ever, but it was mine. I worked on it. I finally got it to where I was happy enough. And I published it September 1st last year because I'm the silliest reason in the world I wanted to beat my next birthday before I got it published. So I did. And then the second book was published before December so that I had two books out the same year just doing my thing um I'm trying today to be a little more upbeat than I've been being on some of the the videos partially because I've looked at some of them and I've gone girlfriend like pick up something like like do something special don't sound so good. And part of the problem is it really is difficult to deal with chronic pain and a chronic illness. And it's difficult to deal with it when you realize that People can't see it. They have no clue. But it's still there. And if I'm feeling low because of the illness and being exhausted from pain, I'm going to have a really bad video. Now, the next thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get myself on a new schedule. This is going to take a minute. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my head wrapped around the fact that I no longer have school at the top of the things to do list. And I started school in 2015. I have been doing school every week except when they took breaks for like they originally we had you know the the students online had a two week summer break the way the regular classes did and then they said um, yeah no they don't really need that I mean they're not here full-time on the campus so you know we get a week off in a couple of spots like Christmas and New Year's and that kind of thing but other than whatever breaks they decided to do, 
every week there was schoolwork. Every eight weeks started a new class. And you would have to jump from subject to subject and go through and figure out what you needed to do in what order and not just the, the class schedule but doing things like researching and picking your project topic for the end of the class because they usually want you to pick something by the second week that you're going to have to finish before or on or about the seventh week and then you have a discussion during the eighth week to kind of wrap up what it is you've learned but doing that since March of 2015 until the middle of August 2022 is a long time to get a habit ingrained. And now I need to reset. <laughs> I have to refocus all of that, that energy back into other things like my writing and scheduling time for that and doing my videos. I want to try to get back to at least one video per week per channel. We'll see if that works. Um, so far I was starting Monday because it was my birthday. So far I'm not doing perfectly. Um, I slept till 3 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. Didn't get squat done. This morning I actually got up when the alarm went off. Still didn't really get into the swing of the new protocols. Now I, on my calendar I've got all of this set up as a task list so it pops up and annoys me on a regular basis and I still haven't not quite eventually I've got a minute and it it takes time to reset old farts on a schedule <laughs> just ask ask any doctor but I want to remind you all that it doesn't matter what anyone else tells you is right or wrong with whatever you want to wear, whatever you want to do with your makeup. It just, no. Once you are a grown ass person, you get to pick. You get to decide what you're going to wear, how you're going to wear it, how you're going to do your makeup, how you're going to do your hair color, which reminds me I need to do something with this. <laughs> yeah, it's time again. I've been letting it kind of rest for a while so that it got a little more healthy again. But yeah, I'm still going to keep it short. It's going to stay short. And we will see how that goes. Anyway, any of you out there who want to do things like maybe even collab with a little old fart, let me know if you have any ideas for things that I should do like, don't start telling me to buy expensive palettes. Not going to happen. I have to save up for those monkeys. So, 
if I've got a palette that's similar to something else you've got, we can always collab or we could do a bingo for all that matters. Anyway, this is long enough for an update. Besides, I think my son's looking for me. That's one of the problems of living in a house full of people when you do this stuff. You can probably hear the doggy outside barking. Oh, that's one of the other things. Both of my little dogs, little dogs, little, one of them's 10 pounds, one of them's 30 pounds. <coughs> the 10 pounder is getting really fragile. He's going to be 15 in February. But he's getting really fragile. The 30 pounder is going to be 14 in August next year. And she's okay, but she's starting to get all those lumps and bumps and stuff. And, 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 my son and his wife have three dogs, two of which don't get along as well as they could. Yeah. That's my son. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the, the one of the dogs gets along with the 14-year-old and, hi baby. <laughs> I'll be back for I'm trying to deal with another situation. That's my boy. He's so cute. He's taller than his daddy. Ay, 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 ay. I'm still trying to figure this one out. He looks too much like both of us, and we adopted him. I don't know. Mysterious things. Anyway, the one of the dogs gets along really well with the 14-year-old, the 15-year-old, and... He kind of like look at each other and just like the little one is also a male, but he's been neutered for years. <coughs> but he's got a lot of, he's a little bitty dog with a great name attitude. The other dog that I'm discussing is part lab and part blue tick coon hound. He is a big boy. And we call him Genji Doomtail because that tail will clear a table in a skinny minute. But he's a very sweet dog. And we've been trying to rehome him because of the issues with the other dog and it's just it's taking forever and some of the suggestions that have come back are he's so big just have him put down and it's like no <coughs> the dog that he doesn't get along with is actually one of his pups because their other dog, Karumi, who is a gorgeous dog, went into heat way before we expected, and they had put them out, and the 15-year-old kid was supposed to be keeping an eye on things, but she had her phone. And the next thing we knew, they were tied. And there was pups. 
lots of pups. And all the rest of them got homed out as pups. The big boy did not. He was the hulk of the litter. His nickname is Pudge. He's taller than either parent at this point. I'm looking at him and going, you're a genetic giant. You're immense. But the two boys don't get along because they both want mama's attention. <coughs> so I'm, Jim and I are talking about taking on the Coonhound mix, which is way bigger than any dog I have ever had. But he, he's a potato. He's a mush. He's a let me sit next to you and be mush. So we're, we're crossing our fingers that this is all going to go well. And yes, it's all still in the same house. But our dogs do not do things like go out with the other dogs because the other two dogs play too rough around little Finnegan. And Lolly's scared of them. So, there we go. Anyway, we will have to keep you informed on the doggies. Because it's the doggies. I like doggies. I'm still trying to figure out how I came up with this bright well, I'm idea. That's my granddaughter and my grandson. I don't know if you're going to hear them or not, but they're out in the hall. Well, the oldest granddaughter. And we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping everything works out okay. Like I said, Finney's getting frail and fragile. And his back's starting to get that, that, that old dog bow in it. And he doesn't walk quite straight anymore and all that stuff. So I, we kind of baby the heck out of him. Anyway. Hopefully I'll get a bit done on the book channel, maybe talk about what I'm writing, because at this point, I just need to get writing so that I get every, get back in gear. And I may not be going directly back to the novel I've been working on. I may do something else for a minute. We'll see. But, yeah, that's about it for now for the most part. Get your boosters. Behave yourself. Stay out of trouble. I do not have bail money. Bye.